Hey everyone, so I'm getting ready to go on a trip to go see our families. It's about a three hour drive and we're going for three nights. So I wanted to show you guys what all I packed and how I organize it all. Okay, so this is the first bag that I'm bringing. And if you watch some of my early videos, I had bought this. I think I had wanted to use it as a diaper bag, but um, that doesn't really, it doesn't work for a diaper bag. It doesn't have any pockets in or anything in it. It's just a plain bag. But it says, baby, please just chill out for like two seconds. And I just thought it was so cute for like a baby bag. So even though it's pink. <laughs> um, but I love this bag for all of my pump parts and bottles. Let me see if I can open it up. Okay, so this bag, it actually holds a lot. So I've got my pump down there. Um, I'm not gonna take everything out because it's just too much, but I'm also bringing my drying rack so that I can dry all of our bottles and stuff while I'm there. We're just going to our parents' house. Um, these are the Dr. Brown's bottles that we use. So I have um, three of these. And then I put all of my small pump parts just in little plastic bags. And then I've also got, so I've got my pump bottles and then the bottles that he's gonna drink out of. And then our bottle brush is in here as well. So this is like all the pumping stuff and bottle stuff. Cause he is gonna be babysat a couple nights while we're there so he will be drinking from his bottles and then next this little tote this is from 31 and I love their bags they're just so great I like these utility totes this is the smaller size but they're great because they're sturdy and they keep their shape so I've got just an extra sleeve of diapers and then my parents have a crib, but they don't have sheets, so I'm bringing a mattress cover and a sheet. And then I'm also bringing our noise machine. And then I'm bringing his Drift soap laundry detergent. And I'm only bringing this because I wanna be able to keep it at my parents' house. This is just, we have a big, huge bottle, so this is like an extra one that we have. So I'm going to bring this and leave it at my parents' house because even though I'm packing enough clothes that he'll have extras if he does spit up or have a leaky diaper, I don't like to pack all of that stuff up without washing it because it starts to smell bad if you don't wash it right after he spits up on stuff. And then this is a little impractical, but it's so cute. This was a shower gift. It's a little baby backpack. And since he's staying at my in-law's house for one night, I thought this would be perfect to just to put like his pajamas and his little outfits in, his little clothes, so he can like have his own little bag to bring. And then I'm also gonna be taking the Ergo, which I'm currently wearing right now. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so I'm wearing it right now, but I'm gonna bring this. This is just awesome ever since we started using it. It's been really, really convenient. Next is the diaper caddy. I'm so happy I bought this. This is what we use in our bedroom. And this is from Amazon. I think they also had it at Target. And we use it in our bedroom every night. That's where it stays, but it's also awesome for traveling. And this is our second time traveling with Cal. So I kind of have it down and I know it works. So this is awesome because it's easy to carry around and I can keep all of his stuff in it. So I keep diapers here, and then this is his portable changing pad that also has a pouch of diapers inside of here, or not diapers, wipes. And then I've got five burp cloths. He goes through those a lot, especially if we're um, at people's houses. I wanna make sure that we have them on hand so he doesn't spit up on people's furniture and clothes and stuff. And then along the side, there's little pouches, and I have all of his like medicines. So I've got his Tummy Calm, his Nose Frida hand sanitizer. I have Gerber Soothe down in there. This is Gripe Water, and then I have his Vitamin D and a rectal thermometer. So kind of just everything that we'll need in this little caddy. 
And then this is his bag. I bought this off Amazon as well. This was, you can find it in my diaper, or not my diaper. Gosh, I can't talk today. My um, packing for the hospital video. This was his hospital bag. And since then, it's also been a great overnight bag for us, for him. So I like to just pack all of his stuff in it. It's got little whales on it, super cute. And I've got his clothes, so I bring... We're gonna be there for three days and three nights. So I figure he needs um, two pairs of pajamas each night just in case he spits up or leaks a diaper. So I've got six pairs of PJs. And then same thing with his outfits. I do um, two outfits per day. So that way it gives us one extra outfit. And so we've got six outfits. I'm not gonna show you guys all the outfits and everything, that's just too much, but um, so two outfits a day, two pajamas a night, and then I've got two swaddles, or actually they're sleep sacks now because he doesn't fit in his swaddles. So I've got two sleep sacks, which he sleeps in his sleep suit, but sometimes um, if he naps or something, he might just want to be cozy, and that's just a nice way to not have a blanket over him. I've also got two swaddle blankets in here, socks, and shoes. That's all of his clothes. I'll also be packing the sleep suit which is in the dryer right now. And then our Leech Co. pod, this thing is awesome. This is the only like actual seat or toy type item that I'm bringing because for the most part, everyone will just hold him when he's with family. So we don't really need much. I don't need to bring like bouncers and swings and stuff like that. Plus they're too big. So this is the only thing I do bring because this is just so easy for him to sit in and kind of lounge. And if someone like has to set him down, it's just an easy, safe spot to set him down in. And then my diaper bag. I did switch to my backpack diaper bag since filming my videos of what's in my diaper bag. And this is just much easier. I think it's cuter and it's easier and it's bigger. I love it so much more than the other Jujube, which was the B Classy. So this is the, I think it's called Be Right Back, maybe. I could be wrong, but I love it. Um, most of the stuff in here is just typical diaper bag stuff, emergency stuff, diapers. Hey, it's okay, honey. Um, an extra change of clothes. I do keep my portable hand pump in here. Um, he's got like a swaddle, just like all the basic necessities that we would need for a day out is in his diaper bag. And then we also have the pack and play in the car already um, for Cal's um, grandparents, my in-laws house because they don't have a crib so he'll sleep in that while he's there. So that's everything that we have. There's a lot of stuff to pack when you have when you're traveling with a new baby but but hopefully this video helped you get some ideas and tips for traveling with a newborn thanks for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye